Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I have the RC Benchmark Dynamiter, the 1580 series. Uh, this this thrust stand is one of the top thrust stands you could actually find on the market and, and this company does it uh, does thrust stands very well. They have two models. This is the high-end version. Uh, this was the solution to my problems and possibly to other people also who are trying to get in this hobby or trying to review and just debug and just figure out um, everything from motors to ESCs to all that kind of great stuff. So I've been looking around to get something that will somehow induce noise into the system and I found this would be the best way uh, just because I'm able to actually write scripts to have it run automated, uh, just have the motors run in a way where it actually induces noise such as stop start very fast and then just do all kinds of crazy stuff. Now. What attracted me most to this is the fact that it's just well built and the amount of features it has in it is just unbelievable really. Uh, it could take 1 to an 8S battery. Uh, the maximum current on the board is 40 amp, this is a continuous current, and the burst is 50 amp, which is more than enough really, we're just testing one motor. Uh, thrust it could measure up to 5 kilograms, so that's more than enough also. Uh, we can actually measure the RPM of each motor and figure out the KV. Uh, we can also measure torque. Torque is just, it's, it's awesome. So we can measure thrust and torque. Torque is just a, the amount of uh, force to actually turn the motor, so how, how good it will handle. You can check if a motor can handle a heavy prop pretty well by the amount of torque it has, is, it, it possesses really. Um, we also have precision ohm meter. What does that mean? That, that That's actually, we can actually measure the resistance of the motor, uh, which can tell us uh, how efficient it could be and, uh, and if the current will have resistance as it's going through and not. And another great feature is an accelerometer. Uh, the accelerometer is there to actually measure the vibrations of the motor, which is just spectacular. Uh, you can measure it, see if it's well balanced from the company, if it's a good motor, if it's their bad motors. If you buy like three and try them out and you see they all have vibration problems, that means uh, there's no quality control on that, on, that, on that brand of motor really. Uh, you can also do that with the propellers. Once you put the propellers on, you can watch the uh, vibrations and actually uh, know if this is a good propeller brand or not. So this is just very awesome. Uh, it can measure also motor efficiency, propeller efficiency, and like I said, the vibration levels. And it could export all this data into a CSV file, which you'll be able to create uh, nice little graphs and stuff. So the 1580 series, what's, what's also awesome about it is you actually get plug-in ports. So you can actually plug in up to three temperature probes uh, to measure the temperature of, of three different parts of your uh, motor, which is very awesome. Uh, we do get a USB interface. This does connect to your PC, and it's just uh, it's through a Chrome app, and you can just do a lot of stuff in the Chrome app. Uh, it also, it has many safety features, uh, such as if it reaches over a certain amount of current cutoff, if it vibrates too much, or the thrust is goes above something specific to actually cut off. So it's very safe. I mean, as long as you stay away from the propeller and you have it uh, very well uh, mounted. So <clears throat> now let's talk about the biggest and most main feature of this. Uh, what really attracted me to this is actually the scripting feature. And this is a huge plus for me because I am currently working on a script, which I'll make open source. I'll make it open to everyone. Uh, it'll take your black box log and actually uh, turn it into a script where this thrust stand can actually read it and you could replay your whole flight for that motor and if you get four you can actually do it to four motors and you you can just uh, simulate that whole flight and see the noise see why you had a blackout and this is the reason what I'm trying to do with this so soon once support kicks into my channel I'll buy three more and I'll have this routed in a way to actually just create some awesome debugging and to see which PDBs, which uh, all-in-one flight controllers are susceptible to noise and how to solve it. Just a lot of crazy stuff and I'm just going to buy all the low ESR capacitors, see which is good, which is bad. So this brings a lot, a lot of uh, uh, awesome stuff to the table What we can actually test and, and check out. Uh, we can also we'll be even testing the ESCs uh, if actually they do help in efficiency and power and, and thrust and I'm sure it does to a certain extent so we'll see this as we go and um, I'm just 
very excited for this and I hope you guys are excited as I am and I really do recommend you guys check them out and if you're thinking of getting a thrust stand I do recommend their thrust stands they're, they're, they're support and they do have warranties and it's a very well made product I, I, I sell the parts that are just absolutely phenomenal the cuts are clean everything is just it's beautiful it's aluminum so anyways enough talking let's put it together and check it out and see how it is Perfect. All right, guys. So here it is. It's assembled now. Uh, I've stuck a motor on here, and I just want to just tell you a little bit about it. Putting it together was absolutely simple. It was less than maybe what 40 screws, a lot less than 40 screws to actually put it together. The instructions are very clear. Uh, it's just like five pages of instructions, and that's it. Just a couple pictures, and, and you're good to go. Um, I soldered the ESC. It's a Racer Star 35 amp ESC. I put black tape around it because I removed the heat shrink. Now, let me take you to the back here and show you how this works. It's going to be a little bit difficult. So, obviously, you have your USB which connects to the PC. And the battery leads go in the middle here, I mean in, on the outside. Uh, so uh, the ESCs would go into here. There we go, you got positive and negative. And it's awesome, it's, it's solderless. So you, you could just uh, screw in the screws and it'll hold those in place. And the battery goes on the outside. We have the positive, it takes one to an 8S battery. So that's awesome. And then we have the ground here. And then if we look right here, we have where we plug in the ESC. Right there where it says ESC. And as you can see, right here is negative, and then there's the signal, and that is what we'll do. So we'll stick it in like this, and that's basically it. And here I have an XT60 connector. So let's act, let's try it out real quick. All right, so I plugged it to the PC. I'm gonna plug in the battery now. Make sure there's no wires and your hands nowhere near the propeller. So we plugged it in. Just set it down like that. Let's plug in the USB. I forgot to plug it in here. All right. And then now we go here. Hopefully you guys can see. All right. So COM port, connect. All right, and we're in. So now what we would go to is, let's go to manual control. I still have not created a script. We're gonna enable it, and we're just gonna increase throttle gonna get kind of loud yeah that was just intense um, it's absolutely gorgeous it, this is just blowing my mind everything I have here I have the current battery voltage uh, everything and I'm going to be exporting everything into CSV files and possibly even doing the graphs for you guys so you guys can take it from my upcoming videos. Uh, I just tested the Diatone motor. I'm going to just do another prop. Well, most of the props I've not came in, I've ordered a bunch of props so we could test out with different props. Uh, right now I'm testing on the uh, King Kong 5045 Tri-Blades. They're good and I have some King Kong 60 inch, uh, 6040. Uh, propellers also that I'm going to be testing so I'm just I'm just really blown away by this it's just absolutely fantastic like I just I, I'm lost for words it's gonna be so awesome right now once I start scripting it I'll be giving all my scripts out free 
I'll open a GitHub page and you guys, if anyone's gonna get this motor, I mean this thrust stand, you guys could go ahead and feel free to use my scripts and even modify them. So, it's just amazing, really. Um, and yeah, that that's really it, guys. So what we're gonna what, what to look forward with this is actually gonna be testing noise, ESCs, uh, all-in-one flight controls. I'll figure out a way to route it to make noise and testing if uh, the length the wire length of the ESCs actually make a difference and if we ground and not ground our ESC does that make a difference I'll be testing all that with oscilloscopes and we will be taking accurate measurements um, <clears throat> what else I even bought a couple batteries like the infinity ray spec and some Zulp power batteries in the infinities and maybe we could try to figure out a way where we can actually just measure uh, how good they are if possible with this so I'll be looking into that also but overall if you are thinking of getting one of these, I truly do recommend it. It is top quality. It is built just amazing, really. All right, guys, so that's going to conclude it for this video. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. I hope it helped someone out there. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. See you guys.